Speak, Chapter 78. Real Spring. May is finally here. It is stopped raining. Good thing, too. The mayor of Syracuse is about to put out a call for a guy named Noah. The sun appears butter yellow, and it's so warm it coaxes tulips out of their crusty mud. A miracle. Our yard is a mess. All of our neighbors have these great magazine covers. Cover yards. With flowers that match their shutters and expensive white rocks that border fresh mounds of mulch. Ours has green bushes that cover, just about cover the front windows and a lot of dead leaves. Mom has already gone. Saturday is the biggest selling day of the week at efforts. Dad snores upstairs. I put on old jeans and unearth a rake from the backyard, back of the garage. I start on the leaves suffocating the bushes. I bet dad hasn't cleaned them out for years. They look harmless and dry on top, but under that top layer, they're wet and slimy. White mold snakes from one leaf to the next. The leaves stick together like floppy pages in a decomposing book. I rake a mountain into a front yard, and there's still more. Like the earth pukes up leaf guts when it's not looking. I have to fight the bushes. They snag the thines of the rake and hold them. They don't like me cleaning out all that rot. It takes an hour, finally. The rake scrapes the metal fingernails along damp brown dirt. I get down on my knees to reach behind and drag out the last leaves. Miss Keene would be proud of me, I observe. Worms caught in the sun squirm for cover. Dale green shoots of something alive have been struggling under the leaves. As I watch, they straighten to face the sun. I swear I can see them grow. The garage door opens and Dad backs out the Jeep. He stops in the driveway when he sees me. He turns off the engine, gets out. I stand up and brush the dirt off my jeans. My palms are blistered and my arms are already sore from raking. I can't tell if he's angry or not. Maybe he likes the front of his house looking like crap. Dad, that's a lot of work. Me. Dad, I'll get some leaf bags at the store. Me. We both stand there with our arms crossed, staring at a little baby plant staring to grow in the shade of the house eating bushes. The sun goes behind a cloud and I shiver. I should have worn a sweatshirt. The wind rustles dead leaves still clinging to the oak branches by the street. All I can think of is the rest of the leaves are going to drop and I, I'll have to keep raking. Dad, looks a lot better. Cleaned out like that, I mean. The wind blows again, the leaves tremble. Dad, I suppose I should trim back the bushes, of course. Then you would see the shutters and they ain't need paint. And if I paint the shutters, I'll have to paint all the shutters and the trim needs work too and the front door. Me, tree, hush, rattle, shh, shh. Dad turns to listen to the tree. Not sure what to do, dad. And that tree is sick. See how the branches on the left don't have any buds? So I should call someone to take a look at it. Don't want it crashing into your room during a storm. Thanks, Dad. Like I'm not already having a hard time sleepy. Worry six, number 64, flying tree limb. I shouldn't have raked anything. Look at what I started. I should have tried some. I shouldn't have tried something new. I should have stayed in my the house, watched cartoons with a double-sized bowl of Cheerios. Should have stayed in my room, shaved my head. Dad, I guess I'm going to the hardware store. Want to come? The hardware store, seven acres of unshaven men, bright eyes, women in search of the perfect screwdriver, weed killer, volcanic gas grills, noise, lights, kids running down the aisle with hatchets and axes and saw blades, people fighting about the right color to paint a bedroom. No, thank you. I shake my head. I pick up the rake and start making the dead leaf pile neater. A blister pops and stains the rake handle like a tear. Dad nods and walks to the Jeep. He's jangling in his fingers. A mockingbird lands on a low oak branch and scolds me. I rake the leaves out of my throat. Me, can you buy some seeds? Flower seeds? 